Hello and welcome to the Hardcore Giveaway and Gamers Club channel. My name is Daniel and before I get into the video, I uh, want to talk to you guys about giveaways. I give away close to $100 every single month on this channel. I highly recommend you go check out my active giveaways. i got a lot of goodies on there. Uh, if you post a comment, you get an entry. Simple as that. No ifs, ands, or buts. Uh, I don't need your email, just post a comment. <laughs> Uh, please, by all means, try to win all of them, and don't skip the first commercial because that's how I pay to get my giveaways. Okay. Uh, this video is talking about the power supplies for the 1215 A and B models of the PS4, uh, burning out like mad. Absolutely, are unable to find power supplies. Well, I'm going to show you uh, why a lot of these are burning out and explain to you about why the others are burning out due to different issues. Okay, so we'll get to that in just a moment. But let's take a look at one major reason why they're burning out. Alright, this is a circuit board for a Model 1215A. There's actually a couple of different board configurations, so this may not look exactly like yours. Okay, but take a look here. You'll see two shorted areas. And no apparent reason for a short. Right here is a leg on a voltage regulator. Leg and a little bit further down you'll see where the trace line is burned up next to that capacitor there or micro cap whatever you want to call it <coughs> anyway these shorts were caused by roaches Roaches is the number one killer of these power supplies because they have no protection against bugs. All right, so this board, although had a few roach poo locations on it, is very easy to spot the problems. Take a look as we zoom in really, really close at this guy here. He walked in between the legs of the cap and he got blasted with a lightning bolt that burned his abdomen in half and killed him instantly. Here's a guy he crossed over two spots and exploded his en entire body and the only thing that's left is his head. This guy here shorted the other end of this component out with his butt against the heat sink okay so yeah these guys are the number one killer of your power supplies if you have them unfortunately there's really nothing you can do about it or is there I'm gonna be making a video that will explain and show you how to roach proof your power supplies now unfortunately there's nothing you can do about the motherboard but the power supplies are the ones that are burning up the fastest so that's what we need to look into. Okay, so for those of you who have roaches, this is what you're going to need to do. Okay, you've seen the video, you've seen what happens. There's no uh, wire coating whatsoever on these systems to protect against shorted sh shorts. That means any roach crossing two high voltage paths will short out it'll explode that roach yeah and it would be nice to actually catch it in video <laughs> uh, yeah that would be fun anyway <laughs> uh, if you're thinking well that'll make it obvious and it'll be easy to repair because the short will be visible well not necessarily because there's going to be multiple shorts all over the board and multiple explosions uh, on the board Normally, when your power supply goes down, it's because of a short that caused a cascade failure of multiple components. Because 
you're getting a very high voltage blast across over to something that's not supposed to have high voltage right? and what that does is it burns out several of the micro components burns out your regulator chips, burns out your voltage regulators uh, blasts the uh, diodes so you wind up with multiple issues and not just right in that area where the roach exploded but in further out spread out locations of the board so it makes it virtually impossible to repair and trace down all of the individual faults and without a schematic diagram you're not going to do that anyway so you have to replace the power supply so uh, I will because the power supplies if you have no power on your system <laughs> because the power supplies are absolutely not available and all sold out everywhere because this particular model system is blasting power supplies right and left so much so that they're selling for ninety five to a hundred dollars online and they go like that the second they're listed every place you find is sold out if you have one of these systems don't worry I'm going to show you a workaround to get you back up and running sorry I can't do it on this video but it will be uploaded in the next couple of days and then I'm going to upload a couple of days after that roach proofing your power supplies okay uh, that will be a big one especially if your power supply did in fact get blasted because of roaches now, for those of you who don't have roaches and your power supply failed guess what with all likelihood it's because of dust buildup in the system the dust builds up on the face side of the heat sink that you cannot see so you need to open up the box and clean it I show a video that kinda talks about blowing air through there with an air compressor or canned air whatever you can do to get the uh, dust off of the face of the, face of the heat sink a lot of people go oh I opened up my box there's very little dust in it well yeah it looks like there's very little dust in it until you actually get down inside there and look at that heat sink and see that it's about 50 percent blocked off or maybe 25 percent blocked off but here's the thing if you're 25 percent blocked off and it doesn't look all that bad it's slowing down the airflow going through this that heat sink which means the hot air or the air that went through to cool that chip off is going a lot slower so the air itself is a lot hotter guess where that hot air goes directly through your power supply in order to cool it so unless and this is this is why I, I say I do not absolutely do not and would not ever buy a PS4 the power supply is cooled with the hot air from the heat sink how stupid is that okay 25 percent blockage of the power supply will reduce the speed of the air going through the power excuse me a 25 percent blockage of the heat sink is going to slow the air flow through that heat sinks enough to superheat that air to go through the power supply and prevent it from cooling at all which means them voltage regulators that have to be cooled and are attached to heat sinks are going to run super hot what happens to them when they do that they burn out they blow up all right any more than 25 percent blockage of that heat sink and your power supply pops and usually when it does it shorts out blasting multiple components no different than a roach okay so uh, we need to keep that system very dust free if you plan on having that game system for any length of time not to mention that keeping it dust free on the face of the heat sink will extend the life of that game system by as much as I usually say 75% for the older PS4 models uh, 1001A and 1115A so uh, for this model I'm going to say will extend the life 80 to 85 percent longer than you would normally get for that system the power supply is uh, 
they reduced the power consumption of the box but did not reduce the heat produced by the chip so yeah that power supply is not capable of being cooled by the box and that's why there are no power supplies available on the market because the power supplies are what's blowing up and that's the death of the majority of these systems so Microsoft if you're watching <laughs> uh, quit trying to cool a power supply with hot air from the heatsink oh my god it's just that simple All right? we are perfectly happy with a box on the outside of the system that we can at least blow air through to clean out the power supply and allow proper ventilation of that like the Xbox does and quite frankly you can make your system a lot smaller to compensate for the difference of the power supply Okay, so, so for those of you, uh, us that like the little smaller systems then you get a much smaller thinner system because you don't have to have that big old power supply in the back of it All right? it's just not necessary and it's just a big fire hazard especially with no short protection in the power supply you should have known that well over 50 percent of the population especially if they're living in apartments have roaches of one form or another that they just cannot get away from it doesn't you don't have to have a messy nasty house to have a roach infestation you may not even know that you have roaches until your power supply blows up and and they take it because they're such a small number but that small number will be attracted straight to that box straight to the power supply and they will breed in there okay they, roaches love electronics laptops PCs uh, any place with a heat source that heats and cools or stays at around a body temperature or whatnot right sorry about the autofocus again uh, because the heat allows them to incubate their eggs faster okay so uh, keep a lookout for the two upcoming videos I would highly recommend you subscribe so that you'll get an email uh, and you'll also get email updates of any time I upload other videos uh, of the roach uh, excuse me it's late <laughs> uh, you'll get email notification of the of my, some of my giveaways that I've not finished posting okay you'll also get the email notification of the roach proofing of the power supplies as well as the modification to get you guys up and running the modification video will be first for those of you with no power and second the uh, roach proofing for those of you who have power and need to roach proof your systems All right, so keep an eye out for that sorry I made this video so long stay safe happy gaming everybody